Hello, is this Funimation? Um, yes, this is your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade. Let's talk. Yo, do some do that. Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another video for y'all today. And today is just a fun fitness topic that I was actually asked on Twitter about like something we see very often in anime and just media when you see the characters training for a big event. The question was, hey there, Jax, here's a question I've always wondered about in anime. Why don't they just break their workouts into sets instead of doing things like 10,000 push-ups and sit-ups? Is it just to look cool or does it have a purpose? Do you ever wonder why these characters never really break up their workouts into sets and just do continuous amounts of insane reps? Okay, 10,000 push-ups. Well, besides looking like the supreme badass, and trust me, if you can crank out a thousand freestanding handstand push-ups, you know, the ones without the wall, you are badass in every right of the word, like everything, you deserve that. You deserve that moniker. But it actually is insanely, insanely beneficial, especially for combative athletes. Now on average when we are doing resistance training, we typically break it up into sets so we can get more volume in on the muscles to work them to a greater extent. For example, if I try to bench press a certain weight 50 times in a row, well it could show I could be pretty strong in the grand scheme of things. If I'm just trying to work for just, you know, the muscle for growth and strength, I probably should have picked a higher weight and broken it up into sets. And the reason I do this is because, like I mentioned before countless times on this channel, is muscles grow from time under tension. So either using heavy weights or really slowing down the eccentric part, that's the part where you lower the weight, that does wonders for helping you to grow stronger and bigger. And when you break it up into sets, you are allowing yourself to rest so you can reuse them to get more volume in on the muscle group you are working with a higher workload. So if you just like try to push heavy consistently without the break in between, your muscles will fatigue far faster and you wouldn't be able to get in like, you know, adequate volume to sculpt them unless aesthetics is like your not main goal. Like if you're just trying to look good but you're not trying to like really be um, super strong or something like that, then that would be, it's just a conversation for another day. But when it comes down to fighting like most anime characters do, one of the most important things to have in your arsenal is muscular endurance. Now before anyone thinks I'm saying, oh muscle and size won't help a fighter, I absolutely am not because as I mentioned before, if you are conditioned but you are are also bigger and stronger than your opponent that gives you a better edge because like we've mentioned before being strong is a skill that you worked for like look at Mike Tyson and look at his old training regimen the problems come in when all you trained is your muscles for strength and mass but ignored endurance because now you're just opening yourself up to get gassed faster remember this muscle strength is the ability to exert maximal amount of force for a short period of time like lifting heavy objects while endurance is the ability to do something over and over for an extended period of time without getting tired. You know, pretty self-explanatory when I say it like that, right? So you can see why these anime characters are constantly repping out these insane reps and then fighting for hours on end without getting winded. But why are some of them, you know, super jacked and brolic and others don't look that impressive? We keep telling you it's the art style. Quiet. Even though they are drawn and fictional, and this is just fun hypothetical stuff, I can hypothesize why certain ones would look that way realistically. Now I do highly recommend checking out my weights versus calisthenics video for an in-depth answer on how building muscular endurance can build some muscle mass, so go check that out after this. I did a couple weeks ago, so you should be right there. But for my answer right now, if I look at it realistically, there are two big things that come to mind. For number one, like, you know, getting lean and ripped is a faster and easier accomplishment. Now, some people will disagree with that, but trust me, it is true. Like, getting lean and ripped is a faster and easier accomplishment. If you have a solid foundation of muscle mass on your frame, where you look fit and then you just chisel it out with healthy nutrition, exercise, and sleep, it is a cool optical illusion that can make you look extra jacked because your muscles are all leaned out and showing, even if you aren't necessarily all that swole you still will look good with your shirt off. Like hell, look at me. I always say this about myself. I ain't the biggest dude around and I do not try to pretend to be. But when I'm leaner, I look more muscular. Even though now I have noticed that some shirts don't fit like they used to and my shoulders are starting to get some baseball action going on. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see how I look like in December. Oh, uh, and number two, gotta bring this up a lot of these characters do both heavy muscle training and endurance especially like when you think of like the super jacked ones like goku training in 100 times gravity was repping all these handstand push-ups no problem then that is strength and endurance work right there my friends and then zoro as a kid he was squatting boulders for reps my dude and then swinging that big ass giant sword thing he had like i'm not the sword you know the barbells with the giant plates and stuff like that like and then the handstand push-ups he was doing it was just insane insane reps for that stuff 
and Guts and Asta swing their heavy ass swords around for endurance reps because they are all these just next level alphas. All right, I got throw Vegeta in there too. He's a next level alpha, my dude. And it's sort of like, you know, Akasame from Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. You remember that show, Kenichi Mightiest Disciple? I have tons of videos on my channel about it if you haven't. And anyways, there's this pink muscle fiber theory that was brought up in this show, which actually could be very beneficial if I bring it up in this conversation too. Now, for those of you who haven't watched Kenichi, I highly recommend it. And for those who don't know about like the training or anything like that that they do in the show, uh, be sure to check out my Would That Work Out videos on it. And if you actually want to try Kenichi's training, be sure to try it out my Kenichi Tough Like The Tunes. I did those like a couple years ago, but they're still really valid. And you know, I talk super in depth about them. But right now, let's just talk about certain muscle fibers and training them. For the next few minutes, let's talk about this certain pink muscle theory that was brought up in Kenichi. The pink muscle theory, which is the theory that you can blend type 1, type 2A, and type 2B muscle fibers, is that you must be able to move heavy objects and high repetitions over long periods of time, such as being able to lift a weight continually non-stop at a fast pace for about 3 to 5 minutes, and the individual wouldn't necessarily get swole, but would still have incredible amounts of strength, speed, and stamina, and that would all be just quite helpful for most situations. And theoretically speaking, if you start started with a lightweight, and I'm talking baby weight, baby weight, at the beginning and then did like high reps and practice and exercise while following the three leg stool of fitness religiously and gradually increase the weight and length of time over the course over months and years without straining yourself, you might possibly achieve some real world equivalent. Probably not on par with, you know, like Akasame because it is a manga and anime, but remember this, everything is pretty much hypothetical until you apply it to yourself. So stay healthy and stay safe, so that's the most important thing. Thing. And also depending on your genetics, you might be predisposed to have certain muscle fiber types more than other people. Like some people can run longer than others. Some people are faster and put on muscle differently. For example, I have a lot more fast twitch muscle fibers, which is why I have these diesel ass legs, which help me jump good. So you gotta find out what works best for you or what your body type is. And so that's why it's called personal training because it's personal to you. You need to see how your body reacts. But at the end of the day, the main reason you see them training like this all the time is because it's going to help them fight whatever they got for far longer than they could if they were just doing, you know, standard strength training with the sets and four sets of eight, five to eight reps and stuff like that. It, like, it really depends. Like, for them, all this endurance work really helps them out for the type of battles they are getting into. Also, let's just let's be frank, it looks really freaking badass to see them crank out, like, endless reps and just be like, okay, yeah, whoever they're about to fight, they're about to get effed. Up. So if you're watching this, make sure to get your conditioning training in too. Not only will you feel better, you'll have more energy, and you can last longer for anything you need to last longer with. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sex. But anyways, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon, because I got a ton of stuff coming. I know y'all want to see what I'm going to be doing when Dom Brew comes out. And I have so many plans. Like, actually, I got to tell y'all, like I, this video was a little delayed because like this entire week and the week following, I've just been filming stuff in prep so I can release it when Dom Brew comes out. So I just can't wait. I'm not going to say anything about it. All I'm going to say is like, I am excited and I cannot wait. I can't wait for the show. July 3rd, my dude. Funimation is dubbing it and if Funimation sees this I will help you I will gladly help any of you out I've been hyping this show up for the last two years just for you guys but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, it's fun to always talk about this stuff like tell me down in the comment section below who has your favorite training montage who where they're just constantly repping insane reps is it Rock Lee, Goku, uh, freaking uh, Asta or anything like that leave a comment down below let me know or is it a girl I love hearing the fit girls talk about this stuff too so let me know down below and if any of you want to actually try a fitness routine at home, sort of like your favorite heroes, be sure to check out my Mighty Guy routine. It's a workout program you can do at home. You just need your body weight, no equipment needed. It'll help you build muscle, burn fat, and just help you get nice, strong, healthy, and lean for summertime or just make you feel better. And you don't have to worry about it. You can literally do it in the comfort of your own home. Or if you want to go to a gym, I have my Mighty Guy, oh, not Mighty Guide, all my Aim to Pass the America dream plan in real life, which is just all my training program. I made a real life version of it that you could follow for 10 months and people 
and get great results from it. Or if you feel like you don't have the will to do this, then check out my book, A Hero's Will. It's all about developing that will to actually want to train, to want to be better, to actually want to go about and do all these things. So I hope any of those, those are all linked down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, this is a fun video and uh, yeah, I cannot wait for my Don Brew girls, like literally one week. I'm just like anxious. I feel like a kid on Christmas, like, oh God, they're almost here. Uh, but anyways, keep calm. Booyah on, and don't forget Momotai. Also, Toy Story 4 wasn't even that bad. Like, I actually really liked the villain in that movie, and it was good. And Child's Play, I have a Chucky video coming because month of Halloween person, gotta do a video on Chucky. So, see y'all in a bit. Later days!